I have completed work on this Westinghouse radio and everything is working the way it should. I like the cabinet, it's sort of a Art Deco look. And this is what I did to complete the work on this radio. Ready to find out what we can do for your business? So are we. The first thing I did was to start working on the speaker. I removed it from the cabinet. Uh, I didn't unsolder it, I just uh, took the screws out so I could move it around. And you can see that I glued around the cone. Now, what I used was rubber cement, and I do like Speaker Freak 95's idea of using silicone, but I've got a lot of rubber cement to use up first. And I also glued the diaphragm that's underneath the cone that holds the voice coil. The next thing I worked on was the original cord. It was only bad where it just came out of the radio. And here I have cut the wire, leaving some that's coming out of the radio, and I have cleaned up some of the excess rubber and you can see that everything is fine there at that point. So I got out the Corona dope and put some of that on there and you can see that it looks like quite a lot but it actually does shrink quite a bit and you can see that here. I've also straightened out the wires uh, this is after, I don't know, a couple of hours, something like that. Then I attached the cord again and soldered both sides. And then I taped with electrical tape each one. I'm just showing one here. And then I taped both of those. And then I put shrink tubing over that. Then I put a little bit larger shrink tubing over the part that attaches to the radio. This radio was covered with little paint flecks which actually has happened to me quite often somebody's painting a room and they bring out an old radio to listen to while they're painting the room. Well, I covered this cabinet with a product called Santa Wax and let it set, in this case, a couple of days, but usually a day is good enough, but I got busy doing other things and couldn't get back to it. But now, as you can see in this video, I'm able to just use my thumbnail or fingernail and remove those paint flecks. And there's no damage to the cabinet. Just push them out of the way and then brush them off. That works really good. Now I've got a nice Art Deco Westinghouse AM FM radio to listen to. Thanks for watching.